it's time to death with my favorite little edgelord. A new Hobby Stock Symphogear GX figure is an event. The first of these figures came out in 2017, and we still have at least another three girls to go. It feels like a miracle that these figures, hell even the series, exists, given its seemingly niche cult following. Easily the best part of all of these figures is the Immaculate Sculpt by Hoke, which perfectly captures the essence of each character, and what they've done here with Kirika is no exception. She is dynamic, powerful, and gorgeous to look at. On the other hand, the paintwork is clean but extremely basic, with no shading anywhere, which really holds Kirika back from greatness. Let's dive into the details to get a better look. Starting with her metallic green crown, as you'll see with the rest of her armor, features a transparent piece of plastic to show some mechanical detailing underneath. While I do love the detail, the color ends up being far too similar to the solid green that it sits between, and doesn't really pop like it should, at least under my lighting. The flow of her hair complements her action pose really nicely, in addition to her yelling expression which really captures the moment. Hobbystock also offered an alternate happy faceplate for pre-orders through their own store, which I had thought looked much better, but now actually owning the figure with both faces, I really do prefer the original yelling one, so I don't think you're really missing out on too much there. Moving down to her torso, the lack of shading in the paintwork really starts to stand out with the solid green, white, and black that really aren't doing the figure any favors for earning its 22,000 yen price tag. Her shoulder guards or whatever they are, again have the same issue as her crown, and one of them on mine seems to be a bit damaged which is a total bummer. I'm not sure if this was something I did when I assembled her, but I really doubt it. Her scythe eager lima also features a similar two-toned green to her armor, with the blade itself being smooth and glossy. Here it's even harder to make out the difference in materials and paintwork even though they do catch the light in different ways. While assembly is fairly scary, as it is with fitting any weapon with a long pole into a figure, this one is made out of metal, so it's unlikely to break or bend over time or during assembly. Kirika's arms, on the other hand, feel like they're made out of twigs, and while I trust that it will hold up over time, it's curious that Hobbystock didn't include a support stand for the scythe itself, instead only opting to have one under her left leg. On the topic of her legs, the quality is about the same as I've talked about already. You do get a better view of the difference between the greens, her boots being sparkly and metallic, while her heels are lighter, smooth, and look almost translucent. If the difference in color was a little bit more pronounced, I really do think it would go a long way in improving the perceived quality of the figure. Something I've seen over the years as well is that a lot of people don't like the transparent bases that these Simpho Gear figures come with. But personally, I do like them quite a bit. I find that many bases often have distracting colors or logos that steal my attention, so a base like this is great for just stepping out of the way to let the figure do the talking. Now, I have been ragging on about this figure throughout the whole video, but I do genuinely think that Kirika is better than the sum of her parts. The metaphorical glue in this case is the pose and sculpt, which I think are absolutely excellent, despite some of the less than ideal paintwork and colouring. Everything about this figure looks natural, as if it's straight out of the anime, limited colour set included, and I can appreciate that. The bottom line is that yes, she is expensive, but I would not hold my breath for another Kirika scale, let alone one that even looks remotely good. Seriously, look at the other options you have. For big fans of Simpho Gear, this line of figures feels like a must buy. And if you're not a fan, on my behalf, please give it a chance. It's one of my favorites for a fistful of reasons. As always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more anime figure reviews. This has been the Ando Experience, and I'll catch ya in the next one. Bye!